Hi guys. Welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. In this series, we are going to cover one of the most important yet tricky topic of data structure that is trees. In this series, we will be going through all the topics in trees and cover some conceptual questions to get a hands-on on the topic as we move ahead. So please like the video and if you are new, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss any update. In this video we will go through the introduction on tree data structure and a few concepts in trees. So let's start. Today we will learn the difference between a linear and a hierarchical data structure. What is tree and some basic terminologies used in tree like root, parent, ancestor, sibling, etc. Here are a few examples of linear data structure. Array is a fixed size index based data structure that stores data in linear fashion. While linked list holds a reference to its neighbor and allows growing and shrinking. Stack and queue also allows operation on the elements in linear fashion in LIFO and FIFO order. There are scenarios that demands the hierarchy to be preserved. For example, if you want to store a hierarchy of employees like one shown on the screen then the linear data structure will not be sufficient in this case we need something like tree so what is tree how does it store this data what operations can we perform on the tree we will be learning all these things in the series a tree is similar to linked list but instead of each node pointing to the next node in a linear fashion each node points to a number of nodes it is thus a non-linear data structure and is used to represent hierarchical data. Before learning the operations on tree, we need to be well versed with the terminologies used. So, we will go through these terminologies one by one. This is how a tree looks like. It has nodes connected to its lower level nodes. A root node is the one that has no child. If we take the example of organizational structure, CEO will be at the root as he or she does not report to anybody. An edge is a link that connect the parent node with the child node. Leaf node are the nodes that have no children. In an organizational structure, the leaf node can be the team member to whom no other employee reports. Here we can see that the nodes labeled leaf do not have a child and these are thus called leaf nodes. Siblings are the children that have same parent. It is similar to the relation you share with your brother and sister. In the diagram, you can see the siblings are marked in the same color. An ancestor is similar to grandparents. If we talk in terms of this diagram, node P is the ancestor of Q. If there is a path from root to Q such that P appears in the path. So here we can see P is the ancestor of all the Q nodes below it. Opposite to it is descendant. If P is an ancestor of Q, then Q is called descendant of P. Let's understand what depth is. Before that, let's see level. Here we can see that the nodes are set to be at the same level if they are at same depth. And the depth of a node is the length of path from root to the node. Here we can see that the depth of node 22 is 2. As the path from root to node 22 has two nodes, 25 and 20. The height of node is measured from the opposite direction. It is the length of path from that node to the deepest node. So the height of node 22 becomes 1 as it has one more node after it to reach the deepest level or the deepest leaf. These two concepts of height and depth are a bit confusing. So take your time but remember this thoroughly. Skew trees is the one where there is either left or right node only at each level. The skew trees that only has left nodes are called left skew trees while the ones that have only right nodes are called right skew trees. We will end our video here. In the next video, we will learn more about binary trees, its types, properties, operations and much more. So, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, do it now and click on the bell icon to get the notification whenever we upload the video. Till then, keep learning. <laughs>